This is your daily devotional from the inspired word of God. Verse 24, to be like Jesus, rich blessings from a Sabbath for the land. Leviticus 25, verse 3 and 4. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vineyard, and gather in the fruit thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of rest unto the land, a Sabbath for the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field nor prune thy vineyard. The Feast of Tabernacles or Harvest Festival with its offerings from orchard and field, its weeks encampment in the leafy booths, its social reunions, the sacred memorial service and the generous hospitality to God's workers, the Levites of the sanctuary and to his children, the strangers and the poor, uplifted all minds in gratitude to him who have crowned the year with his goodness and whose parts dropped fatness. By the devout in Israel, fully a month of every year was occupied in this way. It was a period free from care and labor and almost wholly devoted in the truest sense to purposes of education. In apportioning the inheritance of his people, it was God's purpose to teach them and through them the people of after generations correct principles concerning the ownership of the land. The land of Canaan was divided among the whole people, the Levites only as ministers of the sanctuary being accepted. Though one might for a season dispose of his possession, he could not barter away the inheritance of his children. When able to do so, he was at liberty at any time to redeem it. Debts were remitted every seventh year, and in the fiftieth or year of jubilee, all landed property reverted to the original owner. Thus every family was secured in its possession, and a safeguard was afforded against the extremes either of wealth or of poverty. By the distribution of the land among the people, God provided for them as for the dwellers in Eden, the occupation most favorable to development, the care of plants and animals, a further provision for education was the suspension of agricultural labor every seventh year, the land lying fallow and its spontaneous products being left to the poor. Thus was given opportunity for more extended study for social interaction and worship and for the exercise of benevolence so often crowded out by life's cares and labors. Were the principles of God's law regarding the distribution of property carried out in the world today, how different would be the condition of the people? Maranatha, Jesus is coming soon.